Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I am Dan. I am Mike Dan. It's this gorgeous looking lass we're about to imbibe. Mike, today we are all aboard the domestic macro train. How does Dan say it? Uh, this is a beer from Michelob, and this is her... Anheuser-Busch, I and, guess, I think yeah, they own it. Michelob Ultra, and... Uh, this is a beer from the InBev Brewing Company? <laughs> Definitely is. Um, yeah, so uh, it's a superior light beer, 25 fluid ounces, Cowboy Edition. Uh, ABV, don't let me down now. Oh, here we Two. go. 4.2 ABV. Next to nothing. It's a wow, dude, they have everything on here. Calories, 95. Carbs, 2.6 grams. Protein, 0.6. Holy no geez. fat. See bottom of the can for the freshest date. March 20th, March 5th, 2024. So, yeah, so that's about two months from here. So three of this is made probably in what, November? Dan, you know what I heard? I heard Nicolob Ultra just putting so many craft beers to shame with all the information on there, a quality lock code on the bottom. <sighs> so is doing it well. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I've had, I'll get that for you. There you go. There we go. I've had Mick Ultra before. Oh, yeah, I've had Mick Ultra um, many times. I used to pick on our, our friend John for drinking it. Yeah. You know what's really funny is the last time you mentioned him in a review, I, you said our co-worker. And it's like, oh, geez, he's not even our friend That's anymore. funny. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. Here's the thing. It's kind of a sexy label. I'm sorry, I, I was just going to say, look at this. What a gorgeous label. It is. You it can't really go is. wrong with a Mick Ultra label. Yeah. It's freaking awesome. All right. No, so, I used to drink back in the day, Mick Light. Oh, yeah, Mick Light in the little slender cans or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is the clearest of clear beers. The clear beers. Golden, straw-colored. Man, it, almost nary a carbonation bubble to be found. Yeah, but. it's slowly rising through. But, you know, the head's kind of sticking me. The head's kind of sticking around. head on it. it. It looks, again, you say this about macro beers, like it, it looks like beer. So, so it's a good way. Oh, it smells like beer, too. Yeah, you got that sweet kind of grainy white Sweet bread. bready malt is basically what it is. It's it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich without the peanut yep. butter and jelly. Absolutely. It's <laughs> just the bread. <laughs> it is. It's the wheat bread, basically. But it's not offensive or anything, so hey, cheers. Wow. That is insanely just like it tastes like I just walloped old Johnny Boy on the back nine. It's very light. Um uh is that the definition of light beer right there? Like it's yeah. very light. It, but super crushable. The flavor is still there. I don't think it's lacking on flavor whatsoever like i think it's got slight little fruity citrus notes to it, it and does. still that breadiness it does i was gonna say uh, even on the nose like yeah sure you get that sweet kind of grainy thing but there it's it's a very bright uh with a little bit of a, a lemongrass character to it yeah yeah um but there's yeah. a zest to it, it it's beer it, it's american domestic beer if you're gonna hammer these out on the golf course, like i just it makes me think of golf like if you're gonna hammer this out on the golf course you could do far worse. Yeah, this is something like you buy an 18 pack, you put it on the back of the golf cart, and or you buy a big tall one. You're, you're it's, it's good. I it's think it's just good. Isn't like, like one of the official PGA? Like, is that why I keep thinking about? I just I, think so. I, I just equate John golf and yeah, the culture. Oh, Mick Light used to have like the label. It was like it was a golf ball. Like it was sort of like golf. I, I vaguely remember that. I, 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 I know there was a can like that. I couldn't tell you. I don't know, like, though, but. You, you really can't go wrong. You also thought they had dual label technology too, and that the can would turn. So here's the thing: it, it's very light and crisp on the palate, whereas you don't really see a lot of carbonation. But it's kind of crisp. Yeah, super light, refreshing. Uh, the finish it doesn't finish dry. It finishes, in fact, a little bit sweet, but it finishes really light and just refreshing on the palate. I mean, if you're looking more for like a more flavorful macro, sure you can go like a full flavored. PBR, uh, you know, something like that. But I think it's right up there with holding, like, it's got, it's a super light beer, but it's a little heavier than, like, say, your Keystone Lights yeah. or your Coors Light or something like that. I'll tell that. you what, but, I've been drinking, like, here in Western New York, Jenny is king. I, right. I drink Jenny Light. Yeah. I prefer Jenny Light over this. Yeah. But, um, this is, like, this is one of those beers where you, you're at a, a, I don't know, a pub and grill or something mm -hmm. like that, and all they have is some macro stuff on tap. Mick Ultra's on there? I'll take a Mick What are you getting this, This or Coors Light? Oh. Or a Blue Light? 
That's a good question. Joe from Jaws Arcade. Yeah. He just did uh, this versus uh, uh, Miller Lite. Yeah. Because Miller Lite's is all time great. You know what? Oh, I challenge a Jenny too. Light versus Miller Light if Joe ever wants. Yeah, it. I yeah. Uh, I would send him those beers just to do. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what. I, I don't know. I, I that's one of those things. Like, what did I have last? Let me get the next. What do you, one. What do you rate it? Remember when this first came out? It was like marketed as like the healthy beer, like the diet beer. They were. It was like uh, calories or something like yeah, that, right? That was the, like one. It did like the real slender, like yeah, cans. yeah, like the white claw cans. It, it's. I mean. For what it is, I think it's a. I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it on for mm-hmm. what it is. I think it's a solid four beer all day for a macro right. beer. I right. think it's it's flavorful, it's crushable, it's delicious. It's flavorful to a point though. Like I don't want to get towards like the flavor disappears quickly. Yeah, but I, it's a like macro beer. You're not expecting you know to hang around forever. But if if I had to like compare it, like it's oyster crackers. That's what it is. Oyster crackers. Like. You forgot about the oyster crackers. Yeah, it's, it's oyster crackers. It ain't no Keebler buttery one. It's the oyster crackers. <laughs> it's no Keebler. It's just your bag of oyster crackers. Yeah. Uh, this give, beer is a bag of oyster crackers. I'll give crackers. it like a, I'll give it like a, uh, I'll give it like three, two, five. Sure. I, I'll tell you, I'm rating it in the world of macros. Like no other beers are involved. If I'm at a concert and this. this is under $10, I'll buy it. <laughs> Dude, I, I the hockey games where this beer is like thirteen dollars. Really? For a dude. Oh, screw that, dude! Not even dude, worth it. I made it last all three periods. Right, we gotta go. Uh, down below, uh, we got all the links in the link tree. Yeah, branch out. Um, oh. hey. All right, gang. Uh, until next time. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Yeah.